Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations, and if you watched my last couple videos, you have realized that I'm doing a craft show. Um, people have been telling me for years to sell my stuff, so my friend Betsy and I decided to finally take the plunge because um, I'm going to be in the craft show for Jamberry, and so she thought, hey, you know, why don't I go to the show and I can be in the show with you? So we kind of made a plan, so I'm going to be there for Jamberry, hopefully her booth is close to mine. Um, but we're going to sell craft stuff together. And so I've been crafting a lot and I've been making a ton of things. And so um, the next thing I want to share with you is just a couple thank you card sets that I made. Now the flower one that I'm about to show you is very, 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 very similar to a card set that I made probably about two years ago. Maybe, th maybe three years ago. I don't know. It's been a while. Whenever the Sweet Life came out is when I probably made these, uh, which is my favorite paper tray ink stamp set. It's the rose one. But um, I took it and I kind of used some new colors. I changed the greetings a little bit so they're a little different. But um, so here's the first one. And I used the paper tray ink clear boxes for these. And I cut out the little thing at the top and I stamped the Sweet Life, obviously, in the three different colors. And then I did the watercolor, you know, the wet paints here, and I just did different um, greetings on the inside. So I did a, a teal one, I did a purple one, and again, these are very similar to the ones that I did a couple years ago. I just changed the greetings out a little bit, so that's why I thought I'd re-show them to you. A pink one, and I think I used some, uh, maybe that, that might be a stamp of life. Yeah, I don't know. That's the things always. That never mind. Um, a yellow one, and then um, a red one. That's a Stampin' Up stamp. And then I also did. I'm not gonna pull. You know, sure, why not? I did matching envelopes, so there is a matching envelope for each color, and then. I can't pull these out because it's sealed, but I did um, envelope seals. So I cut them out using Paper Tray Inks adhesive paper. So that way the person can just um, peel and stick and their envelope is sealed. So I made two of those. And then the next one turned out a lot different than I had thought it would be in the beginning. So my plan was to make... Um, these ones feel a lot thicker for some reason. My plan was to make butterfly ones just like those. And I cut out the butterfly and I went like I went through and I did this little piece. I cut out the little butterfly. Um, and then I went through and I stamped all my butterflies. And I put the other paper back like, you know, around the stamping and I didn't like it at all. I didn't like how the stamping kind of cause it I, cause I did ombre with my butterflies and so, um, it just didn't stand out to me against the paper so I decided to change it up and this is what I came up with instead. So, I did an ombre butterfly from Life is Beautiful, so I did the three, the three pink hues and then, um, I stamped the inside with like a contrasting color that I thought would go really nice and then, um, I did the same thanks at the top for all of these, I think. Yeah, I did the same thing. So I did the same thing, I just did different colors. Um, and then I took a pattern paper from the inside stamp. I did the pattern paper and the ribbon. And then on the inside, I think is, I did different things on the inside. So um, there's the pink and purple one. I did an orange one. Well, it's not really orange, actually. It's yellow because this is Lemon Tart Harvest Gold and uh, Summer Sunrise. And then I did canyon clay on the inside because I thought that was a nice contrasting orange. And the paper and the ribbon. Maybe I did the same inside. Nope, I did different ones, sorry. And then um, I did Aqua Mist Hawaiian Shores Tropical Teal and then Hibiscus Burst. It's my contrast. And then um, Sweet Blush, Berry Sorbet, and Pure Poppy. And then this is um, Autumn Rose, I think is the name of the color. And then there's the inside of that one. 
And then the last one. And I did two of each of these. And what I did was I did one on white and then the other one's on vanilla. I don't know how well you can see that, but the other set's on vanilla and this set's on white. And I did the same thing with the flower thank yous. I did one on white and one on vanilla. And um, so this is um, Lavender Moon, Winter Wisteria. I don't know which one is Winter Wisteria and which one's Wisteria Wonder, but Stampin' Up! and, and Paper Chain both have a Wisteria color, so I used the Wisteria color. And then Royal Velvet, which is my favorite purple of all time. And then I used Hawaiian Shores. <coughs> and there's the inside of that one. And then I also did the matching envelopes for this one. And I think what I did with these ones is I did the paper. I did, um, I matched the paper. I think, maybe. No, I don't know. I just did a matching. I don't know, I don't remember. I just did a matching envelope for each one. And then I also did um, butterfly seals that would match too. And then here is the box that I did. And then here's the box that I did for the flower set. As I drop it. Here's the box for the flower set. Man, I'm just having all sorts of issues here. There we go. So I did four of those, and so I think they're really pretty, and I would use them, so I hope somebody else will. So thank you for watching, and I have some more things to show you, so keep watching. Bye.